Hello everyone, Blender is mind-blowing. I wanted to share about how to transfer information within Blender 2.8 through its data API. For example, you have 3D Grease Pencil and annotations. Let's start with 3D Grease Pencil. I'm on Windows for this video, so the tablet is not working as it is working on Linux. You can edit the points in edit mode. Now, if I make an annotation on another screen, say, the render workspace, this is Grease Pencil 2. But you don't see the object within the outliner. It's not part of the scene and it's 2D. Let's delete the mesh of the grease pencil for now and try to grab back the annotation into the grease pencil. Make room and go to Blender file. Here you find all objects that are present within your file, wherever they are. We can see both grease pencil objects we created in totally different workspaces. What is fantastic is that you can remap users with a right click. This means that you can send the mesh of a 2D annotation to the grease pencil, which is also called annotation in this case. Now we have the annotation within the 3D grease pencil. It's on the XY plane. Back on the view layer, we can see that we can't select points in edit mode. Let's add a material. The stroke is barely visible, but we can't select the mesh points. These crease pencils are different. Let's see under the hood how they are and what we can do about this. You jump to Data API, it's like the database of your Blender file. We want to visit gpencil data. Here, you have multiple details about the annotations we created. Let's extend the layers, especially the note. In the frame, you open the strokes menu where you find the seven strokes of the note. Three for the H, two for the eye and two for the exclamation point. The deeper you go, the more you need to extend the panel. For each stroke, you can see that the draw mode is 2D and we can change it to 3D and select it from the menu. Each point of the stroke is selectable and you can inspect all details about it. Unfortunately, by hand, there's no way to change the draw mode of all the strokes at once. but I'm pretty sure we can do it with a script. But it's out of this video. Let's finish to change the draw mode of each stroke.
In this database, you can select and tweak each point of the stroke, and you can change any of its parameters. This is the deepest I've been into a 3D software. Data API is great when you need to understand and develop code for Blender. We now have a normal grease pencil we can work with. Hope you like this journey and you'll subscribe to our Patreon and this channel.